So we're out on the field again today, uh, once again testing the Mini 4 Pro. I've had one or two comments actually over the last few videos which I've uh, been doing with this um, return to home point not working. And uh, one in particular, I'll read it out to you, uh, which kind of like drew my attention. Um, something that I didn't test in the last few videos. It's from uh, Afwaz, if that's how you pronounce it. As previously reported, the home point update works for me on both Mini 4 Pro and the Air 3S, but is much less accurate than the original home point setting. That is, if I take off with either drone and allow it to get the home point, uh, fly it a bit and request a return to home, it will land within 10 centimeters, which you would expect. Uh, however, like you did your test, walk away a few hundred yards, update the home point, each drone will land within about five meters of the home point. So that's quite interesting. And that's the test I'm gonna to do today. So I'm gonna do it with the Mini 4 Pro. I'm gonna do it with the Air 3S as well. So without further ado, let's get things moving and we'll do that particular test or two tests. So we'll just start the screen recording. Home point updated. So you can quite clearly hear that the home point has been updated. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fly out as I did on the other couple of tests. Um, I don't know, a couple, couple of hundred feet, 300 feet. We'll do something like that. But there we go, 320 odd feet. And what I'm going to do again is I'm going to walk down the field and I'm going to set the landing pad up and I think the the best way to test this is to uh, put the controller on the landing pad and then set the home point to the controller so that's what we're going to do so we'll just have a, a small walk down the field and I ain't got to go too far just to prove what's actually happening I'll tell you what we've been having some glorious weather here in the UK I think it's almost at 30 degrees today which in Fahrenheit is getting close to, to 90 degrees F but it, uh, it really is nice there's a, a gentle breeze at the moment so it shouldn't affect um, what we're actually doing we've just tapped the map on the screen and you can see the controller has moved away from the original home point I think that's far enough right okay let me just get this landing pad set up and then I'll show you exactly what I mean about putting the controller down on the landing pad to get a positive um, location because the last thing we want to do is update to the controller then start moving around a little bit so Let me just adjust this camera so we can see what I'm talking about and get that on the landing pad somewhere just there I actually feel like Kevin Roberts he does a lot of these return to home tests I don't look like Kevin though do I right okay so update the home point I want to put it right in the center of the controller I'm going to click controller home point updated Okay, so as it, yep, yeah, it's updated to the controller, as you can see, on the landing pad. And all I'm going to do now is click return to home. Return to home. So we'll get the, uh, the camera ready. So we can see how close it gets to the landing pad. Now I'm just going to lift the controller up out of the way and we'll see exactly where it lands. I don't think it's that far off to be fair. Let's get it on video. Yeah. 
So I estimate that as one, maybe one and a half meters from the landing pad. Okay, right. Obviously it wasn't a precision landing and you're not gonna get a precision landing when you've taken off from the original point and then you move it because when you update the home point, that precision landing goes right out of the window, okay? But that was, what, one and a half meters away. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna uh, stop the recording, change over to the A3S and we'll do the exact same test. So, okay, we've got the A3S now ready to uh, take off and we're gonna do the exact same test. Obviously, I'm, I'm in the place where the Mini 4's just landed. We're just going to reverse it so we get the A3S up in the air. Take off. Point updated. You can see the home point's been updated a little bit further down the field. There we go, a couple of hundred feet, and by the time that we've uh, walked up the field, that should be somewhere where we were starting from. Okay, let's get moving back to where we started from. Get the map up. There we go. I don't really think this will be much difference to be honest with you because like I say although the A3S has got the mapping on so it knows where the home point is the thing is with that is that all gets cancelled when you update the home point let's have a quick look on the map you can see we've moved moved away I'm just going to um, turn the camera around onto the landing pad okay right <coughs> same thing again gonna put the controller in the middle of the landing pad and we're gonna update the home point if I can see it with this light there we go update home point to the controller okay home point updated and then all I'm gonna do is same thing again press return, return to, home, to home and that's flying back towards us as we speak so I'm expecting it to be approximately the same kind of distance away the Sun is so bright I can't even look up at it Landing. <laughs> that's where it landed and I think that's probably a meter away yep so there we go it's not pinpoint accuracy but I think that's well within its reason uh, a meter a meter and a half for the mini 4 pro I think uh, that's pretty close in my in my guess and as you know the a3s has got that supersonic return to home now so that will find its way back to the original home point you know including obstacles and being under trees and stuff like that so i think that's a pretty good test to be honest with you um it certainly didn't go five meters away and it was pretty close to the to the landing pad and that'll do for me so there you go that wraps the video up short one this week um I hope that's answered some of your questions. Like I say, a couple of um, you guys had reported that uh, it wasn't actually working as it should. But I think we've proved there that that is absolutely, uh, well, not spot on, but it's close enough. So there we go. If you got some use out of the video, as always, don't forget, give us the old thumbs up. And if you're new around here, why don't you consider subscribing, dinging the dong and all the rest of it that goes with it. I'm sure you know me by now. And you might like to watch those couple of videos I've chosen for you. And if you do, I shall see you over there. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.